Benjamin here today. Remember, I teach classes for structural relief therapy for continuing education for massage therapists. But I really want to just give you some of the information and some of my 35 years of experience, and I want to talk about the first rib. We have Eric with us here today. I've never worked with Eric before, but I want you to really look at his body. And you know what he is? He's an old catcher of baseball. In fact, most all of his injuries have come from baseball. So he has that chest that's stuck down just a little bit. Shoulders are rolled forward a little bit. I think this must be a prerequisite for our uh, catchers. But I want to show you how the first rib really contributes to thoracic outlet syndrome, or TOS, because it is one of the biggest culprits that there is. So let's use Eric's body first to show you where the first rib attaches on the anterior side of the body. So what I'm going to do is step behind him and I'm going to use his clavicle to move along until I feel where it attaches to the manubrium. And I'm going to drop down into just a little teeny tiny valley that's right here. And that's the only place that you can really feel the first rib on the manubrium on the anterior side of the body. And this is where we might find a tender point for SRT. Now, I don't know if we'll find one, but let's just check. Are you tender there? No. Are you tender there? No. No, nope. so he really doesn't have any tenderness, but he also doesn't have any thoracic outlet syndrome um, symptoms. So I didn't expect to necessarily find one. But I want to show you on his body, I want to trace where that first rib goes. So I'm on his left side, and we're just going to trace his first rib around. Oh, you mean if I push through the trapezius right there, that's the first rib? Yes, that first rib is right there. And then it moves over to this big bump. That's the seventh cervical. Why do we have extra bone there? What's the deal? Why is it there? Well, I'm going to turn Eric around again, and I really want to talk about what does the first rib do. The first rib is like the yoke. It's really why we can stand up and turn our head and move it. We need the strength of that yoke of the first rib. Now when you go out and you order ribs, you know, like baby back ribs, there's one rib that's much thicker at one end. Well, oh, that's the first rib. Yeah, that's where there's a lot of extra goodies too attached. So it's a thicker rib. And because it's that yoke, it needs the stability at C7 to be able to do its job. Now, remember when we traced it? It's right in the middle, underneath the clavicle. Oh yeah, what's right under the clavicle? Well, yes, the subclavian's there, but that's the thoracic outlet. So if the first rib isn't where it's supposed to be because of a seat belt injury or another type of injury, then it could be putting pressure on the thoracic outlet. Now, besides being a yoke, what do the ribs do? Well, yes, in school they taught you that they move up and down like this when you take a deep breath. Take a deep breath for us, Eric, so they can see that. Oh, yeah, and it, it, they protect your organs. They had to make up something else. It couldn't just be one thing that they do. But here's structurally what they really allow your body to do. They allow your body to move in a direction so that there actually is movement like this to the ribs. So if you think about Eric's driving down the road in the crazy traffic here in Pennsylvania, and he has a seat belt across, and he gets into an accident where a lot of pressure is put here, then the, not only is the clavicle going to give way a little bit, but the ribs are going to actually move as well. And so you can sometimes get a rib stuck 
where it's kind of rotated down and the other one's rotated up. And that can happen on either side. Remember my video about quit blaming the rhomboids? Well, first rib is really important, but you really need to understand its relationship to TOS. So, yep, you should come to a class of ours so that you can learn the technique that releases that first rib so that you can better help your patients with thoracic outlet syndrome. See you soon.